Hi everyone, Wayne Wells uh, here and um, I'm going to go through uh, the procedure that I use when I am using this tool called Micro Niche Finder. Uh, this is a fantastic research tool uh, for keyword research, uh, SEO optimization on your websites and your articles and so forth. I've been using this program for probably about four or five years. It was developed by uh, James Jones and um, uh, the uh, uh, program is just a phenomenal tool if you're trying to find those long tail keyword phrases so you can optimize your web pages. It's a very simple program to use. Uh, there's a search box up here in the upper left and what we do is we just type in a term into there. Uh, let's try how about So you pick your keyword phrase and just hit the search button and it takes about a couple minutes for it, for it to generate the uh, phrases. It will generate about 800 phrases. I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, pause this for just a second until it finishes the search and then uh, I'll go through uh, the uh, data with you and show you how this program can actually help you when it comes to keyword research. Okay, everyone, uh, uh, here is our data that we received for the uh, keyword phrase leather purses. And as I scroll down here, if you look on the left side there, I've got a number of keywords with my keyword phrase in it, as well as some uh, uh, words that are relative to that keyword phrase. And what, I, what you can do with Nike Micro Niche Finder is uh, the first column here obviously is your phrases you've got a second column here which is your domain availability and uh, since a lot of these uh, let's go ahead and what I like to do first I like to sort my average monthly searches column and what I'm going to do is I'm going to filter out I like to get uh, keywords uh, that are 300 or above searches per month and I like to keep my competition which is what this is the exact phrase count which is just sent, uh, essentially the number of pages on the internet that have that exact keyword phrase same order same words everything as if you typed it into the search engine with quotes but what I first like to do is I like to sort my average monthly searches. I like to filter out and get rid. And I've already created a filter here. You would just go here to filter results. Create a new filter if you need to create filters for yourself. But I would go down to my filter I've already created. And I want uh, all these boxes checked of searches above 300. And I just go here to hide unchecked. And that should get this 801 figure down. We took it all the way down to 325. So we kind of got weeded out a lot of the low searched keywords. Then what you can do is, uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm not going to go through and check all these exact phrase counts because there's 325 of them. Uh, what I do do a lot of times is I'll go through and let's just try to pick a couple phrases to see if they would be good phrases for us to uh, work with. Let's see here. Let's try, how about Italian leather handbags. Okay, there's six, 1,600 searches average a month. And there's only 60,300 pages. So if this is under 100,000, uh, I want to check some further data on it. One of our most important pieces of data on Micro Titch Finder is this thing called it's called Search, um, or actually it's Strength of Competition (SOC). And this is a formula that James Jones uh, developed for this program that will actually tell you the average number of people coming in with the phrase in their title, the phrase in their URL, 
your web address and also the phrase from hitting in anchor links that come in using that phrase. And uh, if all those, based on his formula, come out uh, fairly low based on the number of pages that have the exact keyword phrase and the number of searches, then this figure is going to be a green circle. There's green, there's yellow, and there's also red circles. This one has a red, which says this is not really a good term to target, meaning the competition is pretty strong for this particular phrase. Based on the searches and everything, it means a lot of people are doing a lot of good SEO techniques for that keyword. So that may be a word to stay away from. So let's go to another one. Do we want to look for a green uh, is the preference but we can handle a yellow one if the MOB uh, number here, which don't come up unless you hit the strength of competition. This just means the backlinks, the number of backlinks that you would need approximately to get on the first page of Google. Uh, and since this is a red, I don't even check that. If it was green or yellow, I would check the MOB. And then if that comes out, I like to get a figure 20 or below on this, and if that comes out like that, then that's a good free keyword to target. I also like to, if I'm using it as my main keyword, I also like to make sure that there's a domain name available for it, but you can always use a number, you know, a letter, or uh, add a word like best Italian leather handbag or something to the end of it. If any one of these come out green, that means uh, either .com or .org or not, .net would be available on this particular keyword. We don't even have a domain availability for it. So let's uh, let's move to another one here. Let's see, overnight bags for women. Let's try this one. Okay, thirty thousand. Okay, there we found one. Now let's check the, uh, since that's a green, this shows that this would be relatively an easy phrase to target on first page of Google. And you know, there's 1,300 searches on average per month with this phrase, so not a bad keyword, but let's check the MOB just to be on the safe side to see what the backlink count is. Very good. This would be a perfect phrase for us to target. It's got a lot of searches, not a lot of competition with that phrase. It's got a uh, green strength of competition circle here. It's kind of higher on the high green side, but still if it's green, it's still a good word, and we're below 20 on MOB. So this would be a perfect word to kind of target now the one thing we would want to see if the see if there's a domain name available if we were using that as our main keyword which I would probably check that first every every single one of them's available so overnight bags for women uh, we could probably you know do something with that phrase and and uh, and obviously get a lot of uh, a lot of cert uh, you know a lot of possibilities on the uh, make an income with that. But uh, the phrase uh, three or four word key or three or four keyword phrases is what I kind of stay with. Uh, as far as the domain, I want to make sure there's domain available. You can also there's a column here, trends on micro niche finder. You can check and see how the trend of this particular keyword is. Since we're just in July, they probably don't got these updated yet. But uh, it's kind of had a downward trend a little bit here in the summertime. Seems like they were kind of higher towards you know the winter months, but uh, so this is something you might want to check to see if it's just kind of a trend, a high trend for this time of year, and it tapers off. So maybe hit it during the high, you know, peak seasons. But all in all, that's how you would go and find a good keyword, and this would be a relatively easy phrase to target on Google and be able to get on the front page. A um, couple more things probably in this video. Um, the ad cost is just, it gives you kind of an average cost. This is not, a, this is not exact. It gives you the average cost on how much you would have to pay to get on the 
front page search results on Google AdWords if you were going to advertise campaigns through Google AdWords. Um, over here it says the competition is kind of pretty heavy for that so it seems like there might be a lot of people and I see this a lot uh, there's people you know they're paying money to advertise on Google AdWords with you know very relatively small amount of SEO optimization they could be on the front page of the organic search results and would not even have to run a Google AdWord campaign so uh, I would I would try to you know leave Google AdWords alone and just try to search for the organic crap here because this word looks like a good, real good phrase to do um, also you have the MRP here which is just the uh, monthly revenue potential which is just simply the ad cost of Google AdWords which you pay times uh, the monthly global search volume and uh, uh, that kind of gives you how much uh, you know what the potential income you could make you know on that particular word on average but uh, this is a fantastic program uh, I've been using it for about five years uh, really well thought out really well designed it's got a lot of features with it um, which are just uh, too too many of them to go through for this particular video. Um, I'll be doing probably other things on this uh, particular program and going over other uh, features of the program. But uh, for this particular video, I just wanted to show you how you can uh, uh, you know find a real good phrase to target you know in uh, just a matter of a few minutes. Um, I've got a um, uh, anybody that wants to kind of take a further look at this, uh, James has got a lot of tutorials on this. He's also uh, uh, shows you various ways on how to make money, you know, with this particular program. So you can start to advertise in affiliate programs and start making money right out of the gate. And uh, he's got a lot of uh, tutorial videos to show you that. Uh, so if you uh, if you have any questions or anything, just leave me a comment. My name is Wayne Wells, um, and I've got also uh, my affiliate link. Uh, if you want to check uh, Micro, Niche, uh, Micro Niche Finder out, um, uh, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, I do uh, do training sessions on this particular program at times. So uh, uh, if there's any questions or anything on uh, any aspect of the program that you don't understand, uh, just uh, email me or check out my blog at waynewellsblog.com. Uh, thank you for uh, participating uh, in this video, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thank you. Bye now.